This diet actually works. The DASH diet has been shown to successfully help lower high blood pressure or hypertension, and it's delicious and easy to follow, which is key. You can even eat things like this creamy pasta with mushrooms and Brussels sprouts. Yes, I said creamy, and yes, I said pasta. Let's make it. So the pasta is cooking and while that cooks, we're gonna go ahead and prep our veggies. And with the DASH diet, eating more veggies is key. So what does the DASH diet even stand for? It stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, which is a mouthful, hence the acronym. But what the researchers found is when people followed this diet, they also saw other improvements, like they lost weight, their blood sugars were a little bit lower, their heart was healthier overall. And by focusing more on these good for you foods, filling up your plate, with fruits and veggies, high fiber whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, calcium rich dairy items or dairy alternatives, you naturally end up eating less of the stuff that's not so great for you in larger quantities. It's an easy diet to follow and that's key when you're making any sort of health change. It needs to be easy enough and delicious to do that you're gonna stick with it. We're not gonna use a jarred sauce because those jarred sauces tend to be higher in sodium and even added sugar. So we're just using just enough salt to add add some flavor without being totally overpowering. So if you meet with your doctor or a dietitian and they tell you you have to start being conscious of how much salt you're eating, that can feel overwhelming. Are you really supposed to count every milligram of salt that you eat during the day? You don't have to do that work on your own. We test every single recipe multiple times to make sure it's gonna be delicious with a little less salt, literally in the next room over. And our team of registered dietitians analyzes those recipes as we test. And we add that information to the bottom of each recipe so you don't have to do any of that calculating or hard work. We do that part for you. Yum, look at that cheesiness, all those veggies. I mean, who wouldn't wanna eat this, honestly? But before I dig in, I'm gonna show you what a full day of eating on the DASH diet looks like. So this is what you get to eat on a day of the DASH diet. We start the morning with a piece of whole grain toast, an egg, and some pico de gallo. Bananas and many other fruits and veggies have potassium in there. That's another key component that helps to keep your blood pressure in check. So for your morning snack, you can dish up some hummus and whole wheat pita bread for dipping. For lunch, we have a delicious chicken chili with sweet potatoes. This recipe is a great one to meal prep ahead of time, make a big batch, and only gets more delicious as it sits in the fridge. For your afternoon snack, grab some raspberries. Raspberries are one of the highest fiber fruits that you can find and they're delicious. They have a nice balance of sweetness, tart, I love them. Okay, now it's time to dish up this delicious dinner. So to finish this off, I like to top with a little extra pepper, a little more cheese, and you can even top with more fresh herbs if you want. So after you enjoy your delicious creamy pasta, you get some nice dark chocolate for dessert. Yes, dessert is still on the table. A little bit of sweetness in this form is great to satisfy that sweet tooth. This is just one sample day of what it looks like to eat the DASH diet, and there are so many great recipes recipes and meal plans on eatingwell.com. Now it comes for the best part. Cheers. Mm. It's so good. Thanks so much for watching. Happy cooking and I'll see you next time on Prep School.